Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn BCD code and addition and subtraction of BCD. The first section covers BCD code. BCD stands for binary coded decimal. Each decimal digit 0 to 9 is coded by 4 bit binary number. Here we are coding decimal digit into binary numbers. So in decimal digit we have 0 to 9 numbers. So if you remember hexadecimal to binary conversions, in that we have converted 0 to 9 and A to F to 4 bit binary number. With reference to that you can remember BCD code. But the difference between both is in hexadecimal to binary we have converted 0 to 9 and A to F. So total 16 number but here in BCD code we are converting only 0 to 9 decimal digit to binary form. So 8, 4, 2 and 1 are the weights which are attached to each bit. The another name of BCD code is 8421 code. Weights are attached that's why BCD code is weighted code. Here 1010, 1011, 1100, 1101, 1110 and 1111 are illegal codes. These six codes are illegal because if you remember hexadecimal to binary table in that a to F alphabets represents 10 to 15 in decimal number and binary of that alphabets are 1010 to 1111. So we have 6 illegal codes that is 1010 to 1111. BCD code is very less efficient than pure binary. So let us take uh, example of uh, digit 1. If you convert decimal digit 1 into binary then you will get 1 as binary number. But if you convert decimal digit 1 in BCD code that is binary coded decimal then you have to stuff 3 0 in front of that 1 because BCD code is 4 bit binary number. So decimal digit 1 is converted to 0001 in BCD code and decimal digit 1 is converted to only 1 in binary number. Okay, So the space utilized by BCD code is greater than space utilized by pure binary. That's why it is less efficient than pure binary form. And arithmetic operations are more complex than in pure binary. We will see addition and subtraction of BCD code. At that time you will realize that it is somewhat bit complex than pure binary addition and subtraction. Let us take one example to differentiate binary and BCD code. Here decimal digit is 14 but I am writing 1 and 4 with some space to elaborate BCD code. So you have to look this 14 as whole number. So if you convert this 14 in BCD code then we have to take 1 as a separate digit and 4 as separate digit. So BCD code for 1 is 0001 and BCD code for 4 is 0100. You can see these codes in hexadecimal to binary table. But if we convert 14 decimal digit to pure binary then we will have 1110 as answer. So here you can see that BCD representation of decimal 14 consists of 8 bits where in binary it can be represented as only 4 bits. The table shows the difference between binary and BCD code. If we take one example let us take decimal digit 3. So binary equivalent of decimal digit 3 is 1 1. You can use division by 2 method to get this answer. But if we represent decimal digit in BCD then we have to pad or stuff two zeros at starting point. So 0011 is BCD representation of decimal digit 3. Now if you will look in two digit decimal number let us take example of 12 
So for binary form, we simply convert this decimal digit with division by 2 method then we will get 1100 as binary and if we want to convert this decimal digit into BCD then we have to first divide this two digit number into separated digit 1 and 2. So BCD code for 1 is 0001 and BCD code for 2 is 0010. Second section cover BCD addition and subtraction. So for BCD addition what is rule? If there is an illegal code or carry is generated as a result of addition then add 0110 to particular that 4 bits of result. Now in BCD addition we have to take 4 bit group that is for single decimal digit we have to write 4 bit binary number if illegal code. Now what is illegal code? Starting from 1010 to 1111 are 6 illegal codes present in BCD and if we will add 2 4 bit groups and carry is generated from one group to another group then we will add 0110 to particular that 4 bit group. Now why we add only 0110 that is decimal digit 6 because we have 6 illegal codes in BCD numbers. That's why we are adding 0110 to particular that 4 bits of result when illegal code is present or carry is generated from one group to another. Now let us take one example to elaborate this rule. If we want to add decimal digits 25 and 13 then in calculator you will get 38 as answer. Now in BCD addition first we have to convert 25 as BCD so 0010 is BCD code for 2, 0101 is BCD code for 5, 0001 is BCD code of 1 and 0011 is BCD code of 3. Now here we will simple add these two binary numbers. So 1 plus 1 is 0 with 1, 1 plus 1 is 0 with 1, 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 0 with 1, 1 as it is, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1 and 0, 0. Now we will check whether illegal code is present or carry is generated as the result of addition. So right now we have two group that is first is 0, 0, 1, 1 and second group is 1, 0, 0, 0. So both are legal code. There are no any illegal code present here. Here carry is not generated from one group to second group. So we will not add 0110 to any of this group. If you want to check your answer is correct or not then simply convert 0011 to decimal digit you will get 3 as answer and 1000 in decimal digit you will get 8 as answer. So you can cross verify your answer. In example 2 we will cover decimal digit with some fraction portion also. So first we will convert these decimal digits to BCD code. Now adding these two numbers we will have these four groups as answer. Now we will check any of these four group is illegal code or not. So 1011 is illegal code, 1010 is also illegal code. 1111 is also illegal code and 1110 is also illegal code. So here all of these four groups are illegal code. So we have to add 0110 to each group. So by adding 0110 to each group again simple binary addition between these two numbers. Here I am writing carry beside this 4 bit group. You can add this carry directly to next group. Now propagating carry to next group. So we will have answer as 0001, 0010, 0001, 0110.0100. Now you can check your answers with calculator. In calculator you will add these two numbers and you will get 1216.4 as answer. Now taking BCD code of this number, you can cross check your number with this. 
now bcd subtraction so what is the rule for bcd subtraction if one four bit group needs to take borrow from its neighbor group then you have to subtract 0110 to particular third group which is receiving borrow let us take one example to elaborate this method if we want to perform subtraction between 38 and 15 so in calculator you will get 23 as answer now first we will convert this 38 into bcd code and 15 in bcd code now simple using binary subtraction method you will get 0010 and 0011 as answer now checking this rule this group does not need any borrow from this neighboring group so the final answer will be these only 0010 and 0011 here you can directly see that 1000 is greater than 0101 so this 4 bit group does not need any borrow from neighbor group because 100 that is decimal digit 8 is greater than 0101 that is decimal digit 5 now in example 2 we will have some fractional decimal number first in calculator you will get 58.9 as answer taking bcd code of these two decimal numbers and performing binary subtraction between these two numbers now if you will see 0111 is less than 1000 so in decimal digit also 7 is less than 8 6 is less than 7 and 0 is less than 4 so these three group needs to take borrow from its neighboring group so particular 0111 needs to take borrow from this 0110 and this number needs to take borrow from this number and this number needs to take borrow from this number so here three groups are receiving borrows from neighboring group so subtracting 0110 from these three groups and we are left with 0101 1000.1001 as answer you can cross verify your answer that is the bcd code of 5 is 0101 bcd code of 8 is 1000 and bcd code of 9 is 1001 thank you